Hey everyone, it's Brittany at Big Cat Rescue here in Tampa, Florida. And I'd like to bring you another home tour today. Um, so we've actually already seen this cat's home tour originally. Um, it is gonna be Cyrus Caracal. However, last week he moved to a brand new enclosure. And the reason is he is not a cat that at all appreciates getting into a transport cage in order to come over and experience our 22,000 square foot funcation enclosure, which is what you're seeing right now. So he has been neatly tucked right back here. And I'm gonna basically just walk all the way around his enclosure and show you all of his new features. And one of those being a very easy, quick way for him to go on funcation. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start right over here and we'll walk all the way around. So his enclosure now has a tunnel system, this right here. So he's located over in these bubbles and enclosures and I'm sure that we will see him along the way. So both of these guillotine doors are down and locked so that we can't accidentally let him over into this area here, which is where currently Beecher, our Savannah cat, is on his turn in Funcation. They come out for two weeks at a time. So I'm very excited for the first time that Cyrus will be able to just walk right across to this path here and have a whole new world open up to him. <laughs> So this is the beginning of Cyrus's new home tour. And the reason we like to move the cats around is just to give them a different experience, a different territory to patrol and mark as their own. Life and captivity for these wild cats can be extremely boring. So they have lots of natural foliage. So he has some palmettos. He has a giant tree in there that he can rub against and snuggle against. Sadly, Cyrus was declawed before ever arriving here. So he might kind of chew or paw at the tree, but he can't actually claw it. I'm sure like he would like to. So I'm gonna walk back around this bubble. You can see that giant tree from all sides. And this is where that tunnel door is for him to go on vacation. He's got a nice little toy there. He's got this really cool concrete den. Lots of fern coverage around it, and it's full of nice soft sand. Haven't seen him in this one yet, but he's only been in here a short while, still getting used to everything. This area right here is called a feeding lockout. This is not actually the one we've been feeding him in, but it is an area that he can come in and receive treats. He knows he can get fresh water right here if we ever needed to trap him, which the whole idea of bringing him over here was so that we never had to do that unless it was for an emergency medical reason. But we can call him in here and close that door. There's a ceramic tile on top that helps keep debris from falling out of all of the trees and that way he's got fresher water for longer. His guillotine door rope, you'll see that it is connected to an area that kind of looks like just a ton of wire, <laughs> but this is his safety entrance. So the clip goes there. Oh, there he is. Hi, you better come over and say hi. You remember giving your last home tour? We're, yeah, now we're back to give a new one. So this is Cyrus Caracal in this beautiful fall sunlight. Oh my word, you ready to show him the rest of it? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so safety entrance, if we needed to go into his enclosure in one direction or the other, we can enter this um, double door system here and choose which way we need to go. And that's gonna be whichever side that we'll shift him out of. We can put a pole in the door and then lock the doors and go on the opposite side and get it all cleaned up. I'm gonna go this way, bud. Right over here is another feeding lockout. This is the one he actually eats in, and we know that because it has that layer of thin chicken wire around it. That just helps us keep vultures or some of the larger birds from trying to steal their food. Man on a mission. 
I know. I told you I'd never forget about you back here. <laughs> he's like, I haven't seen one someone in a whole hour. I think he's doing pretty well. He gets startled by lots of noises and golf carts zooming by. So it's kind of a nice quiet corner back here. He's got even more palmettos that he can hang out in. This is currently, this is his favorite den. This must have been where he was when we walked over. Sometimes I come back to say hi and he'll come out and his whole head is covered in sand because he's been laying upside down in there. So he has this bubble over here. So even more palmettos. Are you following? I know. You're such a good guide. You're such a good guide. You want to follow us the whole way? Let's do it. Let's do it. So just another view this way. <laughs> I need to just hand you the camera, huh? Get a Cyrus level view. So it wraps around. This is the back side here. This is the den he seems to really prefer. <laughs> you can hear his feet crunching as he's running through the leaves. And he's got this really tall little platform back here and he's got another toy. I've never known Cyrus to play with a lot of toys. We give him all kinds of enrichment. Unless he can physically eat it, he's just not that into it. He loves sickles and treats and operands and just loves eating food. He is scent marking the heck out of this cage which is what these cats do. They scent mark by rubbing, by clawing, by chewing, and by peeing on everything. Lucky for me, he just pretty much rubs. <laughs> so this is kind of a view all the way towards the front where his feeding lockout is. We'll keep going. This is what our cleaners would do. Our cleaners come around right after breakfast every day and they look for old enrichment or feces or anything that might need to be pulled out. This is his little doorway where we can shift him from one section to the other if we ever need to go in for repairs. And so cleaners use a long scraper pole since we don't go in the cages unless it's for maintenance or emergency. Got a little tree stump that he can also rub against. There's another sort of low platform here. Another toy over here. Are you coming, sir? He's really, really fond of that particular back bubble. So it's really nice to see him adventuring finally. Good job, sir. Come back here and say hi. See, I'm still learning everything. Then back here he has this three-step platform area. Have you been up there yet? I think you should try. I think you should try, sir. Yeah. <laughs> so this will be a nice area. He can lay under it or go up on top of it if he wants. There you go. Yeah, tell that platform that it's all yours now. It's all yours now, sir. Sweet pumpkin. All right, so we're almost to the end. So this curves in. <laughs> and then this is that other secondary big concrete den that he has. Look at you. You've just watched, you've walked around the whole thing now, bud. And we're right back to where we're pretty much gonna end. I'll show you that this is where that tunnel over to the, two th the 2200 square feet funcation enclosure and then there's a small lockout back here for that. So he is going to be able to walk himself to vacation and it looks like he really will. First few days he didn't want to leave that back bubble but look at him go now. So hopefully this helps you guys understand the true space that our cats have. Obviously, depending on what size cat and species, their age and any kind of health ailments, um, all of that dictates how we create these enclosures for the cats. 
And as I mentioned earlier, since you've already seen a home tour with Cyrus, you're seeing his new enclosure and that's pretty common. We do switch the cats around depending on their needs or if we notice that, you know, something um, else might help them uh, live the best life they can in captivity. So if you have questions or we want to learn more about our cages, just go to bigcatrescue.org slash cages. All right, bye, sir. Say bye. He's like, nope, I did all my talking in the beginning. <laughs> Thanks, everyone.